Well, there it gone. More rain. That means I can't go on my little daily run over to Publix and say howdy to all my friends. It's raining. Well, I got plenty I can do out in my little shop. Son of a gun. All right, it was rainy this morning. So I, didn't go, I was going to go out early. I wanted to go down to the store this morning at 7 o'clock to meet my World War II buddy down there. But I didn't get to go, and I suppose he didn't get to go either because he was, uh, he rides that little motorcycle here. But he does have a van that he can ride. So he might have went anyway, but I, I didn't have to. something's wrong with my daughter's car again, which is starting to bug me because that car's not an old car but it was spraining this morning and it could start sprinkling today I hope not yeah I want hold on a minute I want to give you something here I try to meet all the night. I live right around the corner okay. over there. And, uh, How long have you lived around the corner? Huh? How long have you lived around the corner? Five years. Uh, I've lived here 35 years, so I'm the only person that's ever lived in that house. Really? Um, I'm pretty much, well, I'm dis I'm a veteran and I'm also disabled, but I'm not disabled. Service. My disability is not service connected. Uh huh. But, that's me. I have a YouTube channel, and I just go around picking up scrap and wires and okay. stuff like that. Anything you got that you're going to throw out or it's not doing anything, broken electronics. Is that on now? Ma'am. Is that on? <laughs> yes, ma'am, it is. All right. I just wave. And um, you don't mind, do you? I ain't got nothing Well, you'll be on one of my videos in the next two or three days then. But... Um, I'm trying to get up to, uh, you have to have a thousand subscribers on YouTube to get monetized where you get paid. Uh-huh. And I'm only up to like 509. I've been on it two years, but it's tough to get going. Yeah. But um, it gradually accumulates. But anyway, I, I collect stuff. I okay. pick up cans. It ain't worth much, but it's, I save all that stuff up till November. Then mm -hmm. I sell it to the scrapyard. And that's my Christmas bonus. There you go. Gives me, I can go out and buy my grandson something. So whereabouts do you live? Around the corner, you said? The blue tanks around there, yes. you know uh -huh. where they're on the uh -huh. corner? Uh -huh. Just on the other side of that, right on the right. So, okay. So, do you know Robin and them that live around this side of it? Who? Robin. Her name is Robin. If you go to the blue tanks and head this way, she's the first house. He's got a little memorial service. Oh, Larry. Yeah, her. Her name is Robin. I don't know. Yeah. I can't remember what his name Larry. is. Larry. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay. I, I've known Robin since I've lived here. Our kids, like, grew up together. So. Yeah, I know Larry. Okay. I, matter of fact, I was talking to him the other day. Every once in a while, he gives me some scrap or uh -huh. something. Uh, he's like, he's pretty me? well crippled up, too, yes, you know, yes. with his knees and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's a veteran or not. I never asked him. He's got a little memorial thing set up mm -hmm. in there, so I'm going to assume he is. Yeah, I made a video of it one day. Yeah, so, I mean... Sure did. Would make you assume that he is, but you never know. Yeah. 
All right, I'll keep your card, sir. All right, anytime you got any kind of old scrap or okay. see, see the stuff in the back of that bucket, them wires, uh -huh. somebody had them thrown out to the okay. curb. And that's, to me, it's it's money, you know, uh -huh. that stuff, it's so it much a up. pound. So anyway, have right. a good day. I appreciate it. Well, here comes my little spot. I don't know why I like this little spot so good. It's just a little path through here, but I suppose because it's wooded somewhat, and you're kind of concealed in here. And I have, I stop here to eat a little snack or well, there's a can, I'll get, you know what? I ain't gonna put that off, I'm getting them dang cans right now. Right now, why, that's been done much, somebody's still throwing trash over here. Yeah, there's somebody throwing stuff in here yet. I see several. Let me get my butt, uh, uh. I'll go in, I'll have to go in here and pick that up. Dang, there are some wires, insulated wires. Holy crap. Oh, look at this. Cans. Make sure I'm recording there. Look at the wires. Holy crap. Wires. I'll take the wires, that's for sure. Chargers of some kind. There's wire over there. Get off there. There's the wire. That looks brand spanking new. That is a Ethernet cord. And that one looks brand new. That's, um, oh my gosh. You know what? <laughs> right, that's a printer cable. <laughs> I had to go buy one of these last week. What, $7? It was from Amazon. Son of a gun. Right there is one. Printer cable. <laughs> I swear. And here is a power cord for something. That one there, my eyes ain't working so good. This is a charger of some kind. What else is in there? There's another cord. I'm blind as a bat, really. <laughs> Son of a gun. Oh, Lord. Cans. Come on out of there. Can. 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 There's some more where I got to walk a step or two to get to her. I don't want to fall. Honest ending, I don't. Oh. Can. Oh, come on, buddy. I ain't gonna hurt you. Matter of fact, you can come to my house and stay for a while until I get ready to sell cans again. Oh, Lord. Somebody must be sitting in here drinking beer. And right there's a kitty cat alone in them can. Oh, Lord. That looks about it. Empty box. Beer box. Oh, shit. 
shoot. My back's killing me now. Oh. Something in that. What is it? I'm putting over something in that. See what? Oh boy, my back is killing me. I gotta sit down a minute. Woo! All right. That's pretty good little haul for me. And let's see what's in this thing. Here's it. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? These are diabetic test strips. Freestyle. I use freestyle. Dang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes. Holy, let me see what the date is on it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, is it 50 or 100? It's 50 count. And they're sealed, they're not open. Where's the date on this thing? I should know, I... There's a date on this thing. There's gotta be a date on them somewhere. I don't see a date. Open those in, and they're they look. It's got oh here it is. These are good till 2020. July. These are good to August 31st, 2020. Son of a gun. Dang. This is a jackpot. I use freestyle, but I don't use this particular style. But I know what the cost of box are about. These are uh, these are sixty-two dollars a box for fifty. Ninety-something dollars a box for the hundred count. And I've got nine. Oh my God, I've got almost, let's see, 60 from nine, uh, $820 worth. And the boxes are in good shape and I can't, some of them's got stickers on them that belong to somebody I don't recognize the name. Oh, uh, holy crap, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I sold some test strips a while back. I had what happened. Uh, the VA was sending me test strips, and my old doctor, before the VA, they was filling my prescriptions at the drugstore for test strips, so I wound up with eight boxes extra and I'm trying to remember what I got for them I think I got about let's see I got a check for 200 and something dollars I can't remember it's been a while but it's one of them places that buys uh, test strips as long as your box is in good shape and they're they're not open But then I found out right after that that I could have got Twice the money I could I could sell them for $30 a box on Craigslist and I didn't know that so uh, uh, 
$260 worth on Craigslist. Holy crap. Dang. <laughs> oh my God. Wonder why that's, somebody must have died and they just, they just drove them out. Dang. What about that? This makes me nervous. I hope somebody ain't just lost, but to how would they lose them in a trash pile? Oh my God. Nice little box. I'll put them back in there. Hang this back on my, this is a nice little thing. Boy, this thing, this little spot has been good to me. You know, I found copper here. I found brass here. I found cans here. And now I found electric wire and this box of test strips. And these don't need to be refrigerated as long as it don't, they don't stay in extremely hot temperature and it's not been hot. You know, it's up around 80 something degrees. But they ain't, but they wasn't here, let's see, they wasn't here the day before yesterday or I'd have seen them. So this stuff had to have been thrown here. Oop, I see another wire over there, son of a gun. I'm gonna have to start watching. I'm missing stuff, look at that wire, ah, dang. Uh, it looks like trash almost till you look at it and then you say, oh, that's wire and it's, it's another son of a gun. Oh, what is that, a telephone cord? That is, he's in that cord. All right, let me hang this thing back on my, God dang, <laughs> I must be doing something right. <laughs> Lord blessing me or something. Oh man, this almost I can't get it no more. There we go. Now <laughs> I'm so tickled. Oh <laughs> I see another can down here. Lord have mercy. Oh, this is a miller. And when I drink beer, if I drink beer, which is, when I drank them pretty regular, I was drinking millers. And I don't know if anybody can remember that commercial from, uh, from, years ago about Miller and anyway that commercial That guy, that's about three times that guy's drove through here. I don't know if he's looking for somebody or what, but to me, that's suspicious activities. Anyway, the Miller commercial, it had this kind of a half moon and this lady dressed in the gown sitting in the little cup part of the thing, and it was the commercial come on now I'm gonna sing a little bit so bear with me I know I can't sing but it would say Miller and then a female voice come in and say hi life Miller hi life and then the little jingle the champagne of bottle beer <laughs> Uh, I wonder if I could pull that old commercial up, Miller High Life. <laughs> but that's the beer I drank. I didn't. I never was a big beer drinker, but now the only beer I drink is once or twice a year, supposedly. Let's 
supposedly a couple beers a year keeps your kidneys flushed out or something. Now, I don't know who told me that, but ever since I found that out, I, and I used to be bad about getting kidney stones, and I have not had any kidney stones since then. I see that guy back there again. Dad, going, what's he up to? What's he up to? Maybe I've got something he wants. I'm, I'm gonna get my ass to the store. Be aware of your surroundings, folks, in this day and time. And I'll tell you what, back when I was a kid, that wasn't, you, you wasn't, you wasn't doing that taking that kind of precautions back when I was a kid. Hell, I used to go out on, walk around the neighborhood on the streets at night. You can't do that anymore. You can't do that anymore. And shoot, I, me and a school friend of mine, when we was about 13 or 14, we ran away from home and we, we hitchhiked over a hundred miles to a place called White Springs, Florida. And I will continue this story when I get out. Remind me. How you doing, ma'am? Okay. No. Oh, oh. Cup of coffee. Ah, Hector of the gods. Okay. Oh, shoot. I was doing this same old way. The lady, uh, one of my viewers, said I need to start putting my cream in first and it would dissolve it as the coffee went in and she's probably right but you know I'm a creature of habit I'll try to remember it the next time the next time all right I need a cup or oh, stir I don't waste a cup I'll just use a stir Take the paper off. You know what? That stir don't work all that good. Let me cup it. Hey, hey, what is your name? Uh, um, Tony. Toby? Tony. Tony. Oh, I, I know you've been here 20 years. Yes, sir. <laughs> do you get any extra pay for that? Do they have a retirement plan of any kind? They do. Are you getting there? Yep. Well. Kind of, sort of. Watch out, it comes faster than you think. Yeah. <laughs> it, it sure crept up on me. <laughs> It sure did, but it is what it is, and I done made a mess. That I do it all. I do it all the time. Do it all the time. You all right, a, Tony. You having a good day? Yes, sir. I'm gonna try. I got a little shopping to do. All right. Well, 
Bill be here. Oh, I still left a mess, didn't I? It's okay. You're good. 20 years. That, I think I remember when they built this store. They, uh, they built the store in uh, February of 91. 19 what? February of 1991. Yeah, I remember it then. And I, uh, and I came to work in August of 98. Yeah, I remember when they built this. Um, Cause 91, well I was living in Citra in 91, but I had business over, well, over here at this storage facility. You go back down here and turn right, it's right there on the left. Okay. Yeah, I had a, had a I was, I was doing van conversions, you know, those luxury vans yeah. in. Yeah, the bottom fell out on that though. Oh no. Yeah, you remember Mark III? Yes. Yeah. Boy, they lost big time. They was running, gosh. That's what I heard. They was running about 100 vans through there a day. Wow. That's a lot of vans. It is. Sure is that, but uh, I worked there a little while. But I, I always want to be on my own. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, Tony, you have a good one, but whoop, you sorry. How about mm -hmm. run over yeah. somebody? I know I've seen this song before. The unstable lights are. Whoa. And uh, it, 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 a lot of people on YouTube, they. Um, I'm a dinosaur. I'm not even. I don't even have a computer. Sir? YouTube. Oh, you don't. <laughs> you don't get on the computer? No, sir. How come? Hey, that many people I want to talk to. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Here. What's this? That's my card. That's my YouTube. Tells you what my YouTube jumped over. That's my YouTube channel and... Okay. It tells you, you, you what have I... You have a site, is that what it is? Sir? You have a site? Uh, that, is that what it is? A site I go oh, look at? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I got you. Uh, jumped over. I'll collect cans and junk and wire and computers, anything I can reach on. I save it up till November, then I sell it to scrap on November. It's kind of like a Christmas bonus. Yeah, yeah, and my yeah. daughter hates me doing that, but you know what? I ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> well, you know, I've retired one year now. Uh, roofing. You're retired what? Roofing. Roofing? Oh, yes, that's I tough. I used to tough. get a lot of copper and aluminum <laughs> stuff, and I'd toss it in the yard. Well, in one area in the back. And yeah. After a while, I'd get a Pretty good pile going sometimes. Yeah. Uh, like you said, if you do it a year. Yeah. I say, uh, usually it, by November I've got probably four or five hundred pounds of oh, just yeah. aluminum cans. So you have them on a trailer or something, you're ready to hook it up? Ready and to go uh, yeah, and then I got wire, electric wire. You, that's scrap. You can okay. sell that. Uh, but it adds up. It adds up. Oh, that, that's Christmas there. Yeah. <laughs> pots and pans. People throw away pots and pots pans that are aluminum. Yeah. And uh, they're cast, that, right? Cast, that, cast. I had last year. I had over 200 pounds of pots and pans. Okay. That's easy. Well, I have to get my daughter to help me. Well, thank you. All right, sir. You have a good day. Where are you a veteran? I am. Hmm? I'm not a veteran. Yeah. I know a lot of. Them. Well, there, there's a bunch of us around, yeah. Most of the World War II vets are dying out, though. There's one guy that comes over here every morning about 7 o'clock, sits out there on the bench with a free cup of coffee. He's 95 years old, riding his motorcycle now. And it's a small one now. He don't ride that big one anymore. But he, he was a World War II vet. Wow. Name's Bob. <laughs> he's, he's a card. He's a car. <laughs> All right, uh, roofing buddy. Something. You know what? I worked. I worked on a roof one time. Went to work. I needed a job. This is when I was young. Uh, half half a day, <laughs> and I went to take a leak, and I didn't come back. Oh, I was gonna say a lot of times you just evaporate. You don't even have to urinate because it's, yeah. it's so hot. <laughs> Man, I, I did forty what, years. I couldn't do I it. Just liked it, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I do little tiny small repairs for people who need something. Yeah. Do you know uh, 
Uh, Billy Ward, Ward Construction, Ward Roofing. Yes, yeah. Yeah, he was in our Boy Scout troop. He was, matter of fact, he's got uh, three got sons. He's got now, three sure. sons. Yeah. And uh, they were all legal scout. Matter of fact, Billy was an Eagle Scout. But he, he was a good man. I hadn't seen him in a long time. Uh, they're up on, I thought they were on North East. Northwest 8th Avenue or yep. something? Yeah, right in there. They do some additions and they do some redos, but yeah. I don't see them very often. You know, I just, yeah. like, I don't get around anymore like I used to. All yeah. over town, I got to do everything. Yeah. He, put, he <laughs> put a roof on my house. I, 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 I had shingles and, and I didn't like the way it was doing, so I had to just put a steel roof on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are doing that. And, but don't that years. last longer than shingles? Oh yeah, that steel roof will last usually 40 years or longer. Depends if you have damage, you know, from trees or something like that. But other than that, if you're out here, let's say, just up and over, yeah, and there, they don't have a lot of valleys where there might be some congregation of uh, debris or something like that causing it to rust. But uh, yeah, usually they last long. They're, they they come up to a certain thickness. You know, yeah. Screwed on. Do you want any? Now a lot of times people screw it right onto the shingles. There can be a little little undulation, but if you put the one by fours, yeah. it elevates it three quarters of an inch, mm -hmm. and then you got good solid wood for those screws to go into. Yeah. So he he had he just put it on for me. He he, t he had me go somewhere where he got his stuff and yeah. buy it. Yeah, yeah, I got you. And I like a croak when they told me what they wanted for the box. I Oh, the box of screws? Box of screws. Bag of it screws, was up to three. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. 200, three, 300 all somewhere in there. For bag of I could not believe it. That's Now, see, that's a forever screw. They got a real thick rubber and a cap, a metal cap that covers the rubber so mm -hmm. you don't have any erosion of the rubber. That's sometimes people have to come back and remove some screws and put some new ones in through the life of the roof, but not with those. Those are like forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, about, about died when they told me what that was. <laughs> All right, man. Take care, my friend. You have I'll a good one. I'll let you know if I got something. All right. Thank you. How you doing, ma'am? Good. And yourself? I'm doing okay. Been better, been worse. I'll take today. Uh, so you find everything all right today? I couldn't hear you. Find everything all right today? Yeah, sure. Uh, I hadn't found anything yet, but I'm going to. I'm trying to remember what to come after. I can't haul much. Here, let me give you a card of mine. You young folks, y'all stay on the computers a lot. And there's several of these guys here on my, that subscribe to my YouTube channel. Old people shouldn't be messing with that, but I do. <laughs> I ain't got nothing else to. Yeah, go on there and check me out. I will. Have a good one, bud. You, sir. You too, if you need something. All right. Thank you, sir. How you doing, ma'am? All right. How you doing, sir? Good, yourself. Oh, sorry. Don't worry. Go ahead. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Hey, sweetie. Hey there. What you doing? can and I'm not gonna let it go even though I got all them other goodies in the back there <clears throat> oh Mm, 
be careful, Dauber. Oh, that's what that is right there. A needle. A needle. I wonder what that was used for. I cannot believe people abuse their bodies and stuff with drugs. You know, I got stuff uh, popping up in my mind. Uh, I got on a spell yesterday, I think it was, about nursery rhymes that we used to say and sing when we was kids. And most of them don't make no sense at all. And the stupidest one I can remember, I think I got the words right. And y'all excuse me again, cause I'm gonna sing it. <laughs> and no, I can't sing, but it goes Something like this. Uh, how was that tune? Oh, a tisket, a tasket, a green and yellow, or basket. I wrote a letter to my feller, and on the way I dropped it, I dropped it, I dropped it. A green and yellow basket. I don't, uh, I forget the rest of it, but, what, well, ain't that stupid? Oh, <laughs> uh, but there was all kind of nursery rhymes and like that, you know. And you was told things when you was a kid, if you do this, uh, something so and so is going to get you. And the main, biggest thing my mama used to say back before she abandoned me was, if you go playing around them cars out there on the street, Hitler is going to come and get you. And Hitler, of course, was dictator in Germany in World War II. And he was long dead when she was dead. That was in the late 40s. And, um, but she used to tell me that. Hitler's gonna get me. Well, you got to scare your young and gendered behaving. Well, I'm gonna get on this busy street again. Get over here, check the coast, see if it's clear. And I hear one right off the bat. No cars. All right, I'm gonna make a run for it. I need to get down here to where that pavement part is. Come on, buggy, get moving. <laughs> get moving, buddy. I think I'm hearing a car in there. Yeah, I did hear a down going car. Come on. Seems like I'm moving slow. I think I'm gonna make a round down here. Let's see if there's any tent. There comes a truck with a trailer and I know where he lives. I know where he parks. I see that all the time. I don't see no cans. I don't see Caroline, but I bet her daughter's home. No, nope, they're not out working. That's that's the lady there that saves cans for me. They take care of this little island out here, growing stuff on it, which is awful nice thing to do ain't nobody supposed to be taking care of it it's supposed to be sitting there with weeds but they're taking care of it oh that breeze feels so good 
I'm gonna sit here for a minute, sip some coffee, and I was gonna continue a story, and I swear, what was it? Uh, was it the one about when I ran away? I believe it was. Me and the feller by the name of Eugene Gay. I think we was 13. I, I think we was probably in the 6th or 7th grade. And this girlfriend I had, her name was Diane Scott. Boy, she was a sweetie. Um... And she was my girlfriend, and they moved. And they moved to White Springs, Florida, and that was about, and we lived in Jacksonville. And, uh, uh, trying to, somehow or another, I got to missing her terrible. And this boy, Eugene, was talking about running away. And I'm like, I don't know how we worded or what, however, but I let him know, well, I can go with you. And he said, where can we go? And I said, to White Springs, Florida, to my, oh, my girlfriend's house. And I knew where she lived, and I had, I had, I had spent my last change I had on a telephone call. And them calls weren't cheap back then. So, and to this day, I can't remember how in the world we knew the directions and all that stuff, but we knew the directions, and we went, and I'd never been there in my life. And uh, that was down on the Swanee River. You know, way down upon the Swanee River. Far, far away. Yeah. Stephen Foster wrote that. But anyway, that was White Springs. It was there on the Swanee. And we hitchhiked. And we, I think we made it in four rides that we was picked up. Can you imagine two 13-year-old kids, kids out there hitchhiking on the highway today? Danger. But we got there, and of course her mom and daddy was like shocked that we showed up on their doorstep. And we were there for three or four days, I'm not sure. But somehow they got in touch. I guess they called the police after about three days. I mean, they saw through our friendly little story right off the bat. But they treated us nice, you know. They fed us. We slept there and all that stuff. And I hung out with Diane. Uh... And I didn't see her no more for about six months and they moved back to Jacksonville. And she showed up on my doorstep one day. But when that, the police come got us and drove us back to Jacksonville, took us to uh, Juvenile Hall or something like that. Anyhow, that's my little runaway story. We did, we run away. What a stupid thing to do. Of course, I run away again after that, but this time I wanted to go to my daddy. He lived in North Carolina. 
and I can't remember how I got hold of him. Oh, I know how it was. He came down to visit. And he said, you want to go home with me? And I told him, yeah. I sure did. So, he had me wake up early on a Sunday morning. He wasn't staying there at the house. I don't know where he was staying. And he told me to sneak off, get me some, grab me some clothes in the bag, and sneak off and meet him at Confederate Park on Sunday morning. It, that he'd be there about eight. So I was there at seven and he showed up. And we was on our way to North Carolina. And it turns out my mama wasn't a bit concerned about where I went. She just assumed I went with daddy because I was gone. And she was probably glad I was gone because she'd already abandoned me one time when I was 10. So that's my second runaway story. I run away with daddy. And I stayed with daddy till I was, till I almost turned 18. That's my second runaway story. And that's the end of my stories for the day. See you on the next one. I love my subscribers. And I especially love the ones that takes time to watch my videos. And I figure I've got about a hundred people that watch pretty regular. So I figure they enjoy the videos. Oh. Uh, I hope that they watch them so, oh my goodness. Where is that thing? Where is that church at? I'm trying to think. There was a yard. I done passed it. They got rained out. They got rained out. But yeah, I figured people that watch it regularly enjoys it. And you know, uh, I'm hoping they do. And I know my video, I mean, you know, my skills at editing these videos is not great. I'm not as polished as a lot of these YouTubers are. I'm just not. You got folks. I'm 78. And a lot of you people, there was no computers around when I was a kid. <laughs>